go. What up, fans? Welcome to Snack Chat Live. Now, normally on the program, I try to take you guys around the world showing you some of the wildest and wackiest foods. But today, we're gonna investigate the Seoul subway system, one of the most expansive, efficient, and easy to use subway systems in the entire world. Join me as I take you step by step into how to navigate everywhere in the city. I'm also going to show you all the shopping, eating, and other cool things you can do while exploring Seoul's underground. The first step to using the Seoul subway station is to, well, find one. Now, don't use Google Maps. You might as well use MySpace to navigate. Google Maps is absolutely useless here in South Korea. You're gonna wanna download either Naver or Kakao Maps. Once you've found the subway station, you're gonna wanna get yourself one of these. This is a transit card, it's reloadable, and it's your all access pass to everywhere in Seoul. To get a transit card, you're going to want to find one of these machines. They're super easy to find when you enter any subway tunnel, and there's generally going to be a large crowd of people around them. So since I've already got a card, we're going to go to reload the transit Please card. Please place your transportation card. Put it right there. Please select the amount you want to reload and press confirm. And we're just going to put a thousand Korean won on for right Please now. Please insert the amount you want to reload. Pull out the fat stacks. Reloading completed. Please collect your card. Now you've got cash in your card and you're ready to explore the city. A single subway ride in Seoul costs about $1 USD. Press your transit card to access the trains and check your balance. If it's your first time using a subway system like this, it can be overwhelming. So don't feel any shame if you need to go to one of the many counters and ask somebody for help. And if you don't see any workers around, just ask one of the locals. Koreans are some of the nicest people in the world. Like that guy. Also, if you're visiting South Korea, I would highly recommend getting a SIM card with a data plan. You can pick one up at the airport right when you walk out of the gate and get through immigration, and they only come out to about under $4 a day for all the internet you want. There's going to be multiple entrances to each subway train, and when you get to the door and wait, make sure to look down and stack up in a single file line. And if you hear that sound, that means the train is almost here. If you can't see one of the many screens showing you the upcoming and current destination, don't worry. Audio instructions give you directions in both Korean and English. Just like any other public mass transportation system, there's a set of unwritten rules that you're going to want to adhere to so as to not offend or completely embarrass yourself. In a city as dense as Seoul, the subways can get super crowded, so you might not often find yourself with a seat. In that case, you're definitely going to want to stand and hold on to one of these handrails. While the subway is generally a smooth ride, there can be a few bumps, and you don't want to be the idiot who completely wipes out and knocks over a bunch of people. Sometimes a moment of hesitation will mean you won't get a seat. But even if you want to sit down, try to be a decent person and give the seat to the women and children first. If you find yourself lucky enough to snag a seat, whatever you do, do not put your bag on the seat next to you. You will get death stares. Also, and this is really hard for me, try your best to not stuff your face with any snacks or drinks. We want to keep the subway as clean as possible. If you see any pink, purple, or specially colored seats, do not sit in these. These are specifically reserved for the elderly and the handicapped. Above all, treat the subway with respect. Try not to litter, keep your hands and arms to yourself, and do your best not to bump into people. Let's take a moment to talk transfers. Because Seoul is such a gigantic city, sometimes you're gonna have to take two, maybe even three trains to get where you wanna go. But just like every other part of the subway, transferring trains is incredibly easy. You just need to follow the color-coded signs to determine which line you need to take next. And when it comes to the cost of each transfer, you're gonna pay anywhere from zero to about 300 Korean won. If you find yourself on a long subway ride and you're in need of some calories, don't fret. There's a ton of cafes, convenience stores, vending machines, and even retail outlets all throughout the subway system. Some subway stops even contain small malls in them. You can find clothing, food, get your hair done. There's even a subway stop where you can go watch a full-length movie in a theater. Bag of seaweed? The subway's got it. Fresh produce? The subway's got it. 
swagged out fresh drip, the subway's got it. Books to learn stuff, the subway's got it. A fresh pair of Nike Air Force Sixes, Subway's got those too. In the event that you buy one too many snacks or goods at one station and you don't want to bring it to the next, a lot of stations will offer secure lockers you can put your gear in for a limited amount of time. If you're in need of some quick cash, many stations will also offer ATMs as well. And that's that. You've now mastered the subway system. Fans, if you found this video enjoyable, if you learned something, if I entertained you, please give me a like and hit that subscribe button. I'm Brent Tim, and I'm saying ciao for now.